god damn today's video was sponsored by nordvpn but more on that later hello everybody and welcome back to my channel welcome to scary cherry what a thrilling month we have here and a thrilling day to be watching scream for the very first time 1996 actually just real quick before we jump into this reaction video I have to mention this. I just have to because I have obviously been covering Halloween movies in the month of Scary Cherry. And sometimes I can't find a particular movie that I want to watch. I am so grateful that I have NordVPN because I can literally VPN from any country that I want to in order to watch what I need to watch. And it has been such a lifesaver during this month of Halloween. I cannot tell you. NordVPN is definitely my favorite VPN. I've checked out quite a few VPNs in the past and this is my preferred VPN because Nord's just trying to make the internet a better and safe place for everybody. And that's why I like them. Guys, if you want a discount on NordVPN right now, you can check out my link. The code URL is NordVPN slash Mary Cherry. Get four months extra on a two year plan and it's risk-free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So thank you, Nord. Now let's get back to the reaction. I have not a clue what this movie is about other than that it's a slasher film. I've seen a few slasher films on my channel during the month of Scary Cherry. Last year, I watched Halloween. I've watched Friday the 13th. I've watched Child's Play. I've honestly, I've watched quite a few, but I've never seen Scream and I know that this is quite a big franchise and there are a lot of movies in the Scream franchise. I don't know how many of them I'll watch, but I'll definitely give the first one a go. People like the first one. That's as much as I know. Before we jump into Scream, I wanna quickly talk about Patreon because if you wanna support me, you can check out the uncut version of this reaction. You just need a copy of the movie so that you can watch along with me. There will be a time and I can be on one screen and the movie can be on the other screen. But besides uncuts, I also provide early access to to my content bloopers behind the scenes polls all that good stuff and down in the description bar and the pinned comments you can also find all my social media handles instagram twitter twitch discord tiktok facebook as well as my two other channels my gaming channel cherry plays and my vlog channel very cherry all right guys let's step into scream 1996 scream. damn it is loud hello hello oh drew barrymore what number she looks so 90s i don't Oh, I love her hair. I love her makeup. Again? Hello? I'm sorry. I guess I dialed the wrong number. Uh, Weirdo. So I want to talk to you for a second. They've got 900 numbers for that. See ya. Yeah, dude. Chill. Uh, Another phone call? What's that noise? Popcorn. Oh, Are popcorn. popcorn? Uh-huh. She's so happy about the popcorn. popcorn. You like scary movies? Uh-huh. Can't relate. Halloween. Oh, they're you know, mentioning the the a movie. Mask How meta. What's yours? Guess. Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, another one. Another one. First one was, but the rest suck. <laughs> so you got a boyfriend? <laughs> Why? You want to ask me out on a date? Ooh, Maybe. I would say no yeah, to a boyfriend. random caller, though. You never told me your name. Why do you want to know my name? I want to know who I'm looking at. That's so say? creepy. Ooh. Check on that popcorn girl. Priorities. Oh, another phone call. Another one. This pranking is getting out of hand. She looks really freaked out. I would be too. Oh. Listen, up. No, oh. you listen, you little bitch. Whoa. Hang up on me again, I'll cut you like a fish. Understand? Whoa. Whoa. Oh my God, girl. Blondie. Blondie. What if he's inside? I don't know if I'd lock all the doors. I would run out, I think. Listen, I am too seconds away from calling the police. They'd never make it in time. No, we're listen to him, just nowhere. call him. What do you want? To see what your insides what the... look like. Oh my God, poor girl, and she's all alone. Who's there? Oh my God. I'm calling the police. <laughs> oh my God, but look at the reflection. She's There's someone there. Friend, so I think you better just leave or else. There's or someone else there. He's big and he plays football <gasps> and he'll kick the shit. Oh, her acting is on point. His name wouldn't be. I love Drew Barrymore. Steve, would it? How in the hell does he know? Turn on the patio lights. Again. Oh, is that her boyfriend outside? 
Oh my, how, how quick is this guy? Name the killer in Halloween. No. Mike, Mike Myers. No. I know that one. Michael. Yes. Very good. Okay, good, now, good girl. No. no, not the real question. Name the killer in Friday the 13th. Jason! The, the mother. Jason. The mother. No, I watched that for Scary Cherry too. Mrs. Boris was the original killer. Jason didn't show up until the sequel. Oh, that's a spoiler. <laughs> I haven't seen the sequel. Lucky for you, there's a bonus round. But poor Steve, he's out. What? <gasps> she had to see that? Oh, yuck. Final question. What? Or am I at? I wish she had a gun. Oh! Girl! Oh my god, the popcorn! Okay, now go to your neighbor's house. He's got some sort of weird outfit on. There's a car. Go, go for help. Go for help. He's so weird. They're just like... <laughs> oh, good girl, good girl, run! Oh, don't even, don't stop for your BF, don't! Just, just, run! Oh, there, there! Help! Ah! Ah! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh! Oh, he got her, Drew! Drew Parrymore, no! Oh, no! Yes! There's a chance for her. There's a chance. She could still live. Oh no, she's lost her voice. Casey? Oh, she's still, she's still alive. Oh, poor Casey. Oh my god, I can hear that. Oh, how traumatizing for the parents. Ah. Oh, she saw it. She saw it. Oh my, he hung her. That is so... So brutal! Oh no, is she next? Is this what the whole movie's gonna be like? We're just gonna go from girl to girl and each girl is gonna get murdered or something? It's just me. Okay. It's just the boyfriend. Come on in there. How risky. Out at the airport, so call if I need anything, yeah. I could have sworn I heard screaming. He looks like a nice dad. I thought maybe we could do a little on top of the clothes stuff. Okay. Okay so high school music so 90s too i don't know what this song is but that's what it's given okay okay, okay. he's going a little too fast for her did you settle for a pg-13 relationship what's that <laughs> oh little boobies teenagers were found brutally murdered Oh, wow. Have yet to issue a statement. Oh, Monica! Oh, <gasps> uh, Rose McGowan! We were killed last night. Jeez. Oh, we're not just talking killed. They're talking about it so casually. And found her hanging from a tree, her insides on the outside. I would be crying if I found out about my classmate like this. Dude was saying this is the worst crime they've seen in years. Even worse than... Even, well, even worse than what? Sydney. It would appear to be your turn. What a sad day at school. She was daughter of, uh... <clears throat> was daughter of? Was? Dewey? Uh, that's Deputy Riley today, Sid. Dewey? The police just want to ask you a few questions. You okay? Mm -hmm. The heck? <laughs> just, very, uh, close touch, to touch her like that. How do you gut someone? That's pretty sick. Take a knife and you slit him from groin to sternum. Hey, Stu, didn't you used to date Casey? Yeah, for like two seconds. And what he used to Steve? date her? What are you saying? That I killed her? It would certainly improve your high school kill. <laughs> no, I didn't kill anybody. Nobody said you did. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Besides... They are just so casual about it, especially that guy, matter. Stu. But he used to date Casey. And he's just <laughs> talking about how you can Never gut someone. I would be so traumatized. <laughs> the casualness is just weird. So you sure I can stay over? Because my dad won't be back till Sunday. That's a no long problem. time. I would come straight back. If I found out that some murder happened, I would come straight back to my girl. It's like deja vu all over again. I'll be there by seven. Deja vu? 
Okay, well, what was with that music as she opened the cupboard? Only a year ago, Maureen Prescott, <gasps> wife and mother, Another was found murder? raped and murdered not far from this peaceful town. Is that her, Mom? Bingo. So deja vu for her. Jeez Louise, there's, there's been a lot of murders around this girl then. And at such a young age, too, that would mess you up. She had a bit of a nap. Back to Shrine Lane, I'm on my way, okay? What kind of excuse is that? Okay, what now? Tatum, just get in the car. Hello, Sydney. Oh no, it's happening to her. Scary Not movie, her, she's been through too much. All, it's like right out of a horror movie or something. This caller is like obsessed Randy, Randy, with horror movies. Oh, come on, you know I don't watch such. Why not? They're all the same. Some stupid killer stalking some big-breasted girl who can't act who's always <gasps> running up the stairs when she should be going out the front door. It's something. <laughs> Randy, that's so unoriginal. I'm disappointed in you. Maybe that's because I'm not Randy. The question isn't, who am I? The question is, where Oh. I? So where are you? Your front porch. Is she gonna go there? No one's there. Right here. I would not be standing around, girl, like literally run. Was it not revealed in the news reports that before Casey died, she got a lot of phone calls? She's awfully chill. Can you see me right now? Ah, uh, okay. What am I doing? Oh my god, what was with that voice? So this is the same person? The same person that killed her mom? <gasps> oh! So this weird person in this weird mask and outfit supposedly killed her mom? Oh, good girl. Oh, wow. Oh no, she locked the door. Oh, and now she's going up the stairs. Oh, this sucks. Oh, no, this is gonna take way too long. Operator, what is your emergency? By the time she types it out... <gasps> oh! He's gone. He's gone? What the heck? He's got a phone. What? I guess that's unusual for wait, wait, wait. 1996 to have a mobile phone. Ah, ah. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Wow, the police came really quick. I think he was just there at the wrong time. Why would the boyfriend randomly kill the mom and two classmates? That's just weird. I think it's a coincidence that he had a phone. Oh. Oh, oh, no, you're here I'm now. Sorry, Thank you for gracing us with your here. presence. Dad's out of town, all right? She's staying with us tonight. Oh, oh. No. oh. Yes, doofus. They're related. Oh, there damn. is Monica. Jesus, the camera, hurry! My name isn't Jesus. <laughs> Penny, yeah? I know that you're about 50 pounds overweight, but when I say hurry, please interpret that as move your fat tub of lard now! Wow, she is so rude. What were you doing over at Sydney's house tonight? He's the boyfriend. To her, Sheriff, I didn't kill anybody. I believe him. So he does have a creepy stare. I will say that. <laughs> I'm gonna get you out of here, okay? You okay? If only you came a little earlier. Hey, Dewey, can we go now? Hold on a second. God damn it, do we? Hey. Well, what did Mama tell you? When I wear this badge, you treat me like a man of the law. Exactly. I'm sorry, Deputy Dewey boy, but we're ready to go now. Okay? Exactly. He's at work. Uh, he's my superior. The janitor is your superior. Rude. I like Dewey. He's so nice. There she is. Sydney. She does not want to be talked to. Oh. 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 Whoa. Damn, girl. Bam. Sid. Super bitch. <laughs> he was destined to have a flaw. I knew he was too perfect. She acts exactly like Paige oh, from Charmed. Hello, Sydney. No. See, it wasn't the boyfriend. Looks like you fingered the wrong guy again. Fingered the wrong guy again? Hello. 
Billy was released. His cellular bill was clean. He didn't make those calls. There you go. I think you falsely identified him, yes. He admits to having sex with your mother, but that's all. <laughs> she never would have touched him. He raped her Oof. and then butchered her. Her blood was all over his coat. No, you saw someone leave wearing that coat. Damn. The same as an innocent man on death row. A killer still on the loose. Kenny, tell me I'm dreaming. You want to go live? Oh. She cares. If I'm right about this, I could save a man's life. Yeah, she cares. She's got a heart. Do you know what that could do for my book sales? Oh my god, I spoke too soon. What are people doing? What are people... And Stu finds it funny? The cops said I scared him away. You know, it wasn't me, Sid. Lucky he was there. He called me again last night at Tatum's house. You see? Couldn't have been me. I was in jail. Remember? That was creepy. In jail. Remember? The girlfriend who would rather accuse me of being a psychopathic killer than touch me. <laughs> he always has to bring it back to the touch. You haven't been the same since since your mother died. Is your brain leaking? My mom was killed. I can't believe you're bringing this. Yeah! When my mom left my dad, I accepted it. It's the way it is. She's not coming back. Your mom left town. She's not lying in a coffin somewhere. Okay, okay. Exactly! Yeah, it's a bad analogy. But it's just that I want my girlfriend back. That is a terrible analogy. Two of your fellow students are savagely murdered. And this is the way that you show your compassion and sensitivity, huh? You're both expelled. Get out. Good. Our fairness would be to rip your insides out, hang you from a tree so we oh. can expose you for the heartless, uh, desensitized little sh** that you are. Maybe he's the killer. What the heck? That's not a line for a principal to say. What if she did it? What if Sydney killed Casey and Steve? The audacity! One day she snaps and she realizes that teen suicide is out this year and homicide is a much healthier therapeutic expression. Jesus, what is with this chick? This random mean girl? Very imaginative. I wouldn't even want to come to school to be honest. That was brutal. I think this is in her head. Just get out of the bathroom. Someone there? Just get out. What the f Oh. Now you're touching the floor, girl. Wash your hands. Oh. Isn't this the girl's bathroom? Oh. It's the sparkly outfit. Oh. Oh, she was so quick to do that. Is there a problem on campus? No. Everything's under control. Well, of course, you're here. Oh, she is flirting. You look awfully young to be a police officer. I'm 25 years old. Oh, he's so cute. All classes are suspended until... Oh. Hell yeah. What is he doing? This principal is weird, man. <laughs> Either he's going to die or this is some weird prank again. Demo. Would you call me? Hey, he's in the Freddy outfit. This is so weird because like the music as well is making me think he's going to die. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's the classic opening the cupboard. Oh, it's... oh, I freaking knew it. I knew it was behind the door. Oh, why kill the principal, though? Oh, that's a cool shot. That close up and the reflection. I mean, you can only hear that Richard Gere gerbil story so many times before Ooh. you have to start believing it. That was the wrong thing to say. She doesn't want to hear it. But maybe it's true. If you were the only suspect in a senseless bloodbath, would you be standing in the horror section? <laughs> he didn't do anything. You're such a little lap dog. <laughs> He's got killer printed all over his forehead. What? This is standard horror movie stuff. <laughs> Why would he want to kill his own girlfriend? There's always some stupid bullshit reason to kill your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> the girl That's in the, the background. Video. Look at the girl in the background. <laughs> Just walks away. You know, I think it's her father. <laughs> Why can't they find her pops, man? It is oh, pretty weird that he's not here, dead. though. There's a formula to it. A very simple formula. Dude. Everybody's a suspect. Dude, calm down. You're at work. He takes his movies real serious. It's Billy. <laughs> How do we know you're not the killer? Motives are incidental. Good kid. Really, really creepy music in the background. Are you telling me that's not a <laughs> God, look at this place. It's the town that dreaded sundown. Yeah, I saw that movie. It's so many movie references. Horror movie. I see you as a young Meg Ryan myself. <laughs> Thanks, Dewey, with my luck, they'd guess Tori Spelling. <laughs> Tori Spelling. Girls, don't go too far. 
I love this older brother. Vital phone just faxed us. Those calls are listed to Neil Prescott, Sydney's <gasps> father. Oh, he and they can't phone. find him either? You stay close to Sydney. Don't let her out of your sight. Yes, sir. Does that mean he's going to the party too? Are we spotted? I don't think so. They're so the sly. Camera. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> I'm gonna take the party out. Do you mind if I join you? What the? Not at all. Oh, of course, because he has the crush. Oh, and the secret camera. All right. It's probably a good yeah, thing she has her camera around, just oh, in case. Yeah. I can't believe who's here. It's a chick from Top Story. Yeah, here. Oh. You're underage, son. Uh, and <laughs> Tatum's seeing that she's come Dewey. with Dewey. What is she doing here? She's with me. Oh, he's so he's stoked. Second. Should I be worried? Oh, it's so oh, weird. Yeah. Dude. Uh-oh. Oh, great. Oh, great. She's next. Not Tatum. Oh, it's just the cat. Oh, my God. Oh, great. Ah, oh, perfect. Oh, good. Go under. Crawl. Literally crawl. Go under. <gasps> oh. Is that you, Randy? Oh. Well, you want to play psycho killer? Can I be the helpless victim? I think you're about to be. No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. <laughs> oh my God. What are you doing? <gasps> this is real, girl. Oh, shoot. Oh, yes. Hit him, hit him, yes. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, wow. The garage door's not opening. Oh, dude, she's not gonna be able to fit through that. Now she's gonna get stuck. Oh, oh, now? Now the garage door's working? Oh my gosh, she's gonna die. She is going to die! No, not her, not Rose McGowan! I love her! God damn. <laughs> You're a genius. That's a good shot. I'm sorry. Good. I've been selfish. Yeah. Billy, I am the one who's been selfish. And no. Self absorbed. You haven't. It's like Jodie Foster in Silence of the Lambs when. Another reference to, to a movie. This isn't a movie. Sure, it is, Sid. One great big movie. It's not matter. You can't pick your genre. It's starting to become an R rated movie right now. Why can't I be a Meg Ryan movie? <laughs> or even a good now. What? <laughs> Here comes. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. what is all wrong? Why do they do that? It's too red. Isn't like Stu wondering where his girlfriend is? He's just oh, sitting God. there watching a movie. Breast. When do yes. we see Jamie yes. Lee's breast? That's what he cares about? Jamie Lee's breast. That's why she always outsmarted the killer in the big chase scene at the end. Only virgins can do that. <laughs> you know the rules? What rules? <gasps> Jesus Christ. Oh, he's rules? posing for this. There are certain rules that one must abide by in order to successfully survive <laughs> a horror movie. Number one, you can never have sex. <laughs> <laughs> It's so true, though. Number two, you can never drink or do drugs. That's also true. And number three, never, ever, under any circumstances, say, I'll be right back. Because you won't be back. <laughs> Get another beer. You want one? Yeah, sure. I'll be right back. Oh, he broke the rule. Actually, he broke all three rules. Oh, my God. Somebody reported a car in the bushes down the road. I'm oh. going to go check it out. You care to join me? Oh. Thought maybe we'd walk. Aww. Such a nice night out. Got a flashlight. Aww. That's you know rather what that cute. Consolation is? No, what is it? I don't know. That's why I was asking you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like Dewey. Have they not have they not done it yet? Or Look, here comes the obligatory uh -oh. tip shot. Yeah. <laughs> yes! Here it is. Hello? They found Principal Henry dead. Oh. He was gutted and hung from the goalpost on the football Oh, field. my God. Hung from the football? How did the killer get him up there? And they all just left to go see it? They're too eager to see their principal hung. Sorry. Are you okay? 
Oh my goodness. Oh, she went in for the kiss. Go, girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm on duty. Uh, excuse me, my name's Gail, not duty. <laughs> This is Neil Prescott's car. City's father? Yeah. So his car is here. We gotta get back. That's see, that's so sus. It's making me think that it's the dad, but I okay? I I just I it's hard to believe. Just yeah. because I don't think the dad would kill the principal yeah, and fine. like two random students. When you're arrested, you're allowed one phone call, so I was just curious, who'd you call? Called my dad. Sheriff Burke called your dad. I saw him. She's sus again. You don't still think it was me, do you? I was just thinking if it were you, it'd be a very clever way to throw me off track. Using your one phone call to call me so that I wouldn't think it was you. Really? Why is he sounding so creepy though right now? Really? What do I have to do that to prove to you that I'm not a killer? Huh? Oh, oh behind you! Oh! 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 In front of her too! Oh, she's just she's this poor girl's been through so much and she can't even grieve properly because she has to run. That's proof enough. He's definitely not the killer. Oh. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. Oh my gosh, open, open, open. No one can hear you, sis. You need to just jump. Oh, actually, this is... Uh, okay, this is dangerous. She could die. Oh, she got lucky. I mean, that would still hurt, but she got lucky. Oh, she just... She just saw her friend. No. Oh, there he is. I told you. I told you. Right around the this is so meta. Jim, look behind. You too. Lucky there's a camera in this room, though. Oh. Oh. Unless. Uh, uh, okay, he. No. This kid is gonna die on TV and it's gonna be caught. Check the. Ca the oh, 30 second delay. Oh, he did walk away. Oh, he did. Oh! Oh, dude. You shouldn't have screamed. You literally gave your location away to the killer. Oh my god, why is he crawling through that too? She's got to be a lot more stealthier. I guess this is her first time. <laughs> but still. Lock yourself in it. Call the sheriff for backup. Be careful. I hope she actually listens and doesn't just go straight into reporter mode. Kenny! Kenny! He's dead. But he should be, like, on the floor. Where did his body go? There's just blood. 911. Let's go. Ah! Oh! oh, God. Oh. oh, the kid's here. Randy. What the hell? What the hell is on her screen? Oh, it's blood! Oh! Oh! It's Kenny's blood! Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh god, now the reporter's gonna die. Oh dude, that is so annoying. She had a working phone, a working van, and now she's dead. Oh, there he is. Oh, no, no, not Dewey too. Who is this person? Taking out police as well as just regular kids? Oh my God, hurry. I didn't even know she knows how to drive. Oh, dude, this is so frustrating. No, not even the right keys. Please, he's gonna try and kill me. Oh! You're not gonna come on time. She she just got really lucky there. Desi, Jesus, we gotta get the f out of here. Oh. Stop right there. Don't shoot, it's me. I found him. She's dead. I think Stu did it. Oh, I think Stu did it. Please give me that gun. How, who who that does gun she believe? Don't, don't give you. anybody that gun. Fuck you both. Yes. Oh, I'm actually with her. She can't trust anybody. 
What the hell? How is he not dead? Oh, oh, oh my god. He is, he is taking a beating. It's pretty bad. You need to go to the hospital. Give me the gun. It's okay. Well, she can trust him now. Whoa, get in, get in. Stu's flipped out. He's gone mad. What the heck? We all go a little mad sometimes. <laughs> no, Billy! Oh! Oh, he just shot him! Anthony Perkins, psycho. He is obsessed with his movies. Hmm. Corn syrup. Oh Same my god, you lying concern. son of a bee. Surprise, what? Sydney. What? There were two? Why, 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 why? What's the matter, Sydney? You look like you've seen a ghost. Why would her boyfriend do this? We'll never get away with this. <laughs> Tell that to Cotton Weary. Oh. I wouldn't believe how easy he was to frame. Oh my god. Why? 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 Exactly. You hear that, Stu? I think she wants a motive. <laughs> hmm. We did your mom a favor, Sid. That woman was a bag flashed her shit all over town like oh my god this is just yeah, shocking is that motive enough for you no it's not how about this your mother was fucking my father and she's the reason my mom moved out and abandoned me oh now you're no longer a virgin <laughs> virgin what now you gotta die those are the rules <laughs> they're both so as psychotic as each other say. what's Stu's reason oh, this is the greatest part you're gonna love this. We got a surprise for you, Sydney. What is with him? Is he okay? Oh, what do we have behind door number three, Sydney? Daddy. The dad. He's back. Guess we won't be needing this anymore. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh. This ring, ring. Won't need this. They're that framing him. You and shoots himself in the head. Perfect ending. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. They have to make it look real. Stay to the side and don't go too deep. This is so weird. Why would they do this? Why would they do this to themselves? God damn it, Stu! Maybe right, Billy had a reason for the mom, but everybody else? Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos for creative. <laughs> no, they just make them copycats. I'm right? I can't take anymore. <laughs> I'm feeling woozy here. I'm feeling woozy here. I don't know Stu's motive. Like, what is with him? Because if my friend was like, oh, I'm really feeling like I want to murder, I'd say no. Stop it. Get some help. Go on, man. The gun. I put her oh. right there. Oh. What is it? Right here, Oh! <gasps> Gail's back! I know something you don't. <gasps> oh, no. Oh no. no! Oh no! Where are they? Where are they? Oh, <laughs> more pressing matter. Are you alone in the house? Oh ho ho! We're gonna play a little game. Oh, it's called, guess who just called the police? Wow! Sorry, wow! I love her. Get off! I can't, Billy. Oh, you caught me too deep. I think I'm dying here, man. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! He hurt his accomplice too bad. Hello. Oh, Stu, Stu, what's your motive? Peer pressure. <laughs> yeah, he really is. Oh. I me with the phone. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Stu. <laughs> Stu's been beaten up. My mom and dad are <laughs> Stu is thick. He is a dumb idiot. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. <gasps> oh! Oh! He still had some fight in him. I wasn't expecting that. I thought he was about to pass out. I always had a thing for you, Sid. So that's his motive? In your dreams. Oh! Oh, dude! What a death! <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Oh my How God, is he? He's, he's I probably should be. Alive. I never thought I'd be so happy to be a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Say hello to your mother. Oh. oh, ouch. He deserved that. Oh, oh, bet you regret not killing Gail now. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life. <laughs> Randy. For one last scare. Randy. Oh! Got him. Not in my movie. Hell yeah. Oh! 
Oh, the dad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dad. Oh, yeah. The dad. Oh, Dewey's still alive as well. Oh, where's Gail? How cute. <laughs> this is going to make her career. Really? Actually? Nice ending. I was, I was really happy with that. I was very surprised by how much I enjoy that movie because I've seen a lot of, well, I say a lot, not a lot, but a handful of slasher films. And I've been like, you know, they were okay. But this one I found super entertaining, even though it was really stupid at times. In terms of the killer's motive, super silly, super stupid, but it was so much fun, so entertaining. It was funny at times as well. The killers, especially Stu, was just comical. And also Randy was great too. I realized that I know Stu, the actor who plays Stu. Matthew Lillard was in Good Girls, which was on Netflix. So I know him as a much older actor. And Courtney Cox is in this film too. I had no idea. I obviously know her from Friends. And of course, Drew Barrymore, who I absolutely love. I feel like they should have used Drew Barrymore more because she's just so talented. But Rose McGowan was in this film and I love her. I love her from Charmed. So we have a handful of great actors and this is a more recent slasher film, 1996. And this is a little bit more modern, just a little bit more modern because I do remember in the slasher films I was watching back then, I always was like, why don't you just call one of your friends? But I'm like, wait a second, they can't. This is the 80s or this is the 70s. They can't do that kind of thing. At least here they had cellular phones is what they would call it which was very odd for people to have that I did notice. I kind of want to check out the more recent screen movies because everybody has a smartphone now and they could just take photos and videos and record if they wanted to and call whenever they wanted to. The only time where that's a problem is if the killer gets rid of all of the power and the person's phone is low and they have no choice but to run because they can't call anybody. But anyways, I'm going on a tangent. I had so much fun. The motive for the killer was a little bit ridiculous. Billy's motive was a bit weird, but it does make sense why he stayed with his girlfriend for such a long time. He stayed with Sydney and a full, year when she refused to touch him and he just wanted to root her the entire year and was pressuring for that to happen and he was waiting until he got that and then he was like all right i'm ready to kill her now because she's finally given it to me anyway so he killed her because her mom was having an affair with his dad but then he had a taste for blood and just wanted to kill everybody too Stu's motive is really weird. He said peer pressure and then he was like, I always wanted to be with you, Sydney. That was weak source to me too. But Stu was really funny. He was super entertaining. He was just a goofball. And the, when he was dying too, I was like, dude, you just die so hilariously. It was, it was great. It was so much fun. I don't know how the rest of the scream movies are gonna go but i really love the first one and i will say that this is now my favorite slasher film and it was a commentary on scary movies in general so it was quite meta and i always find meta movies so interesting randy's commentary for example was on point and i really liked how there were survivors in the end i really like how they kept the prescotts alive sydney and her dad are okay. They've been through enough trauma. They didn't need more death in their family. Gail, who started off as a bit of a villain, she redeemed herself at the end there because she was right about Cotton. Cotton was never a killer. He was framed. And she just went by that hunch of her. She went with her journalistic instincts. And I respect that. And then she also killed the killer in the end. Perfect. Female power, we love it. Dewey as well, I really like Dewey. Shame about his sister though. But yeah, survivors. At the end of the day, survivors. I always like to see survivors in scary movies, especially characters that I like. I would have liked to see Peyton survive, to be honest. I love Rose McGowan. She always has a place in my heart because I love Charmed and I love Paige, her character who she played. But yes, anyways, 
favorite slasher film so far let me know your thoughts in the comment section below do let me know what your favorite slasher film is i would be very curious to find out and give this video a like if you enjoyed it, it really does help my channel out if you're after the uncut version you can find that over on patreon which is linked in the description bar and pinned comments for the uncut version you just need a copy of the film so that you can watch it along with me there will be a time when i can be on one screen and the movie can be on the other screen down below you can find me on all of the social media handles instagram twitter twitch discord tiktok facebook as well as my two other channels my gaming channel cherry plays and my vlog channel very cherry all right guys thank you so much for watching take care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next one bye everyone